I can barely believe it. But there's something brewing here in Arnold, Maryland. Hi, I'm Wiley Baker. It's the 10th anniversary of Athletes in Action. We're here at Broadneck High School. Let's transition in with the two-time 4A state champion, Broadneck Bruin girls lacrosse team and head coach, Katie Kelly. How magical it's been putting the clamps on being back-to-back -back defending Maryland state champs. The energy is always high and we're able to balance school and sports, which is really important so that we can come out here and perform our best and also succeed in the classroom. The overall vibe of the field, it's never like negative, it's always positive. Everyone just gets along, has their laughs, but we still just work hard and it all kind of just gels us all together. No matter whether they're on the field or off the field, everyone's kind of buying into the same ideas, the same motivation, the same um, goal, which is not actually to win a state championship, it's just to grow, to make this the best part of their day, right, and um, to enjoy high school sports. The maroon and gray connect every day to make their squad flow in a positive way. When you're with a coach for so long, it can kind of get almost like a friendship, and we all really have to enforce that she's the coach and we're not just buddy-buddy all the time. Like, of course, off the field, in the classroom, we can be friends and ask her for help, but when we get on the field, it's discipline, and she means business. Everyone's just really close, and um, everyone just stays positive. We have a really close connection with our coaching staff, which is super important, so we all just understand each other really well. These champions on the field are also winners in the books. I am truly blessed in the sense of I really don't have to worry too much about my athletes in the classroom. Um, other than telling them sometimes that to relax a little bit, it's going to be fine, right? They're very high achieving for the most part, um, which is a blessing. Um, because it translates to the field, but it's also a great thing for me as a coach because I have a lot of pride in that. There's definitely times like on the bus trips there, we'll get some schoolwork done and then we'll just lock in for game time. And then obviously when we get home, we can knock out some schoolwork. During school, we have broom block, which is basically free period where you can go see other teachers. And it's just really encouraged that you go and you see all your teachers and get your homework then because you're not really going to have time after school to do it. Watch Broadneck Girls Lacrosse and you can witness great stamina and fitness. In the off season, I know that I play two other sports, track and soccer, so that definitely helps. And then you also have to train on your own, things like running and like conditioning, working out. I love five-star shooting and transition drill. Uh, we make it competitive. We have a maroon and a gray team, and we do competitions. So in the field house, we all get ribbons. And so at the end of the season, who, whatever team has the most ribbons will get a big prize. We take stretching really seriously after and before games and then after practices too. So that's really important. Eat food. It's good for you. Take care of your body. Um, and then we do do an online journal as well. We'll ask them to kind of check in on how they feel with their physical health, their mental health, their overall satisfaction. There's no lacking good sportsmanship in this Lady Bruins lax family. Part of what we're doing here is teaching them about life, and humility is one of the biggest assets you can have in life. We're competitors on the field um, with our opponents, but after we're just friends and we like to share the game that we love. The sideline definitely like helps motivate you, and then all of us just have good sportsmanship because that's what we're trained to have. When you're playing against some of your friends, it, it makes you want to go harder. Like you want to show them up. Like I'm the better one, and then you get off the field, and it's like, love you. Thanks for pushing me hard. It's just really enjoyable when you get to play against people you know. Girls lacrosse at Broadneck has been on an upward trek with their fans. It's definitely nerve wracking, but it's so exciting to have a fan base like that. So it's just awesome and it definitely makes this experience so much fun. It's a lot of fun having a huge student section and even like the parents and fans, it just makes it the, the games feel bigger. Definitely exciting and it's so motivating just hearing like people around you know that people are watching you. It's just like an incredible feeling. Oh, it's huge. It's like, you know, it's like what you hear as you move and progress in sport. Like, it's like a, we talk about it even with our bench, right? The players on the field, hearing, seeing support from anywhere is an additional factor to help them succeed. Thanks for tuning in. For Eric Cloyd, I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air. And with another edition of Anne Arundel County Public Schools, Athletes in Action. <laughs>